Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes. So, hi, everyone. Uh, for those who don't know, it's Firas, and I'm a data scientist at CICIBM. So, I'm more than happy to present one of my favorite topics related to text analytics and opinion mining in this Friday AI session. Just a quick overview uh, of our today's agenda. I will start by introducing sentiment analysis, followed by sentiment analysis applications. Next, we have the task overview. I will describe a uh, Sentiu dataset and enumerate existing approaches, uh, followed by explanation uh, for word embedding, attention mechanism, and LSTM architecture. So uh, sentiment analysis is a very popular tool in NLP. And by NLP, I mean uh, natural language processing. So natural language processing is an umbrella term for all kinds of approaches using computer to understand and manipulate human language. And sentiment analysis open uh, many possibilities to understand people's opinion uh, on different topics. So we can collect a huge amount of data uh, from social medias like Facebook, Twitter, blogs, and forums, and we can apply uh, several tasks depending on our needs. So the simplest, simplest task uh, that we can see here we can extract a sentiment from an overall text or document. Uh, an advanced or more complex one will be detecting all the aspects in a sentence or a document, then extract the polarity for each aspect. By polarity here, I mean uh, negative, positive, and uh, or neutral. So, uh, from a business perspective, we can apply sentiment analysis in many areas, like topping mining to extract new ideas, track the perception of the brand by the customer, track customer sentiment and needs, gather information across different platforms, and uh, monitor uh, mentions and reviews for, of a brand. So uh, a quick task overview. So in aspect-based sentiment analysis, the goal is to identify the aspect and the sentiment related to, to this specific aspect. So we need to analyze each text to identify predefined aspects and determine the corresponding sentiment for each one. Uh, we can apply multiple approaches to tackle this problem using machine learning, deep learning, and neural networks. Uh, and in this process, uh, we will start by transforming our text to vector. Uh, this is word embedding. Then we extract uh, aspects and sentiment. Then we build our respective models. In this case, we have uh, aspect category model and sentiment model. And finally, finally, we put everything together to get the aspect and the corresponding sentiment. So, uh, Sontiu dataset was collected from Yahoo's platform. Uh, we filtered all data related to London. Uh, then we selected all sentence with maximum two target locations. And finally, finally, we masked all locations in the whole data set. So the, the task does not include identification or segmentation of the named entities here. And in this example, I pick top three uh, aspects to simplify things. And I split my data to 70% train 10% test and 20% validation. So multiple papers were published using a uh, Santiu dataset. From accuracy perspective, I selected here uh, top four models. And for all of them, the pipeline is still the same, but the models are really different. And I picked, I chose 
uh, attentive LSTM to, to analyze today in our next slide. So um, we can see here our, our input sentence. I took this sentence as example, uh, as I told you to simplify things. Uh, and as we have here two locations and three aspects, the, the output should, that we should provide, uh, we should provide six labels. So uh, we can notice when the aspect is absent, uh, we put none for the sentiment here. And when we have um, a related sentiment, we just put uh, all, the, all the labels, like location one in that case, uh, it's related to aspect safety and it's positive. So um, word embedding here. Uh, so we cannot uh, directly feed words as a as string to a deep learning uh, model. Uh, that's why we will encode our words as vectors. Uh, this technique here is called word embedding and consists of uh, um, representing every word in a sentence by a vector. And uh, the word embedding algorithm uh, used here is called GLOVE. And GLOVE, just to simplify things, it's a pre-trained model that provides a word vector as output. Uh, and as we can see, uh, every, every word here is encoded considering previous words and the context. And the final uh, one hot uh, encoded representation will be introduced to a deep learning model. We can also notice here um, if we have similar words, uh, vectors will be closer. And here we have the pipeline in detail be before giving everything to the model. Uh, so we will start by replicating our sentence three times. Three times here because we selected three aspects to focus on. And uh, after replication, we will read the GLOVE uh, file uh, and we will try to embed everything. Uh, here we will get as output from the GLOVE file the, the, the sentence as list the target, the aspect, and the sentiment, one in this case means positive. And um, I try to, to do a down sampling technique to balance our three classes, and we give everything to, to, uh, to the model. So attention uh, mechanism uh, allow us to focus on some words and uh, ignore others. The attention mechanism is developed to increase the performance of, uh, of encoder decoder models. Uh, the input uh, of the attention layer is called query and keys in this case are target location and the aspects. And we can see that our output uh, will be a weight sum of all the inputs that we have. And uh, I will finish with this slide where we consider both attention mechanism and LSTM. Uh, just for people who don't know, LSTM is, uh, it means long short term memory, and it's a recurrent uh, neural network. But unlike other uh, recurrent network, the, in, uh, the, the internal uh, gates allow the model to train successfully using back propagation through time. So as we can see here, we give our sentence and uh, target uh, to the model. Uh, the model in the first layer will output our, uh, our hidden outputs hidden outputs it mean uh, the encoded representation of our whole of the whole sentence then uh, we have target level attention 
here and uh, it's a self attention vector that we that we create to 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 get the target position as we can see in this heat map we focus more on location than than uh, than the other uh, sentence than the whole sentence and um, our dropout uh, function is here to to reduce overfitting then we we give everything to our sentence level uh, attention uh, we you can see that i introduced here our aspect our target that we have in our pipeline and the sentence and uh, the the model will try to 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 do an attention for the whole sentence and we can see that the heat map changes here uh, after that, we have a dense layer to specify uh, output dimensions. Here, uh, I put it three because we have three classes and uh, a softmax function to map all vectors to, to labels, as we can see here in our output. So uh, that was quick, <laughs> uh, yeah, and that was uh, an overview of one technique that we uh, can use in aspect-based sentiment analysis, and I hope that everyone enjoyed uh, the presentation. Thanks, Firas. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll open it up uh, for questions. I know that uh, Jaime posted one in the chat if you want to check it out and, uh, and answer that. Yeah, let me just, uh, I think, unshare my screen because I lost my...